Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Clarified Solutions 8th live post. The post today is going to be all about the rapid results method. Is this a method that you've heard about before, perhaps in a business context? It's certainly a method that has yielded incredible results for the clients that I've worked with. So the rapid results method, let's break it down and then consider how you can actually apply it to both your personal life as well as um, any business tasks that you may have to complete. So the first letter of the acronym RAPID stands for results. So before investing the time, energy, effort um, and um, any other resources that you may need to, uh, financial resources as well, consider what your end goal is. What result do you actually want to gain from taking this particular action and completing this particular project. The process of visualization is incredibly powerful in this. So imagine yourself as you work through the different steps of this particular task and then what it may actually materialize and look like once the task is achieved. So that's results for rapid. Then A is a line. This is most certainly a word that is used very frequently um, in a lot of different uh, circles and it means many different things to different people. So in the context of the rapid results method, what I mean by a line is make sure that the outcome, the result, and also the activity you aim to undertake aligns with the core mission and values of your business or your personal self or both. <laughs> And um, this alignment um, can be determined by having conversations with your colleagues, stopping and pausing to reflect and feel about whether this particular action is actually going to advance you further along on the course of business or in life in general that you're wishing to go. So that's the A, align. The P stands for plan. So this is all the pragmatic steps that are involved in terms of reaching the particular result um, that you want to achieve. This may include everything from um, using project management tools through to running brainstorming sessions with your colleagues in the context of business. And um, this planning process is absolutely crucial. The more time you spend planning, the more you invest in a greater outcome and also the more you learn about yourself and your team. So the planning process can be different for everyone and people have different preferences in terms of how they like to plan. Some people break things down into minute steps. Some people are more visionary and have the bolder, larger strides that they take into account um, when they're planning a particular activity. So that is P for plan. The I stands for implement. So you've gone through this entire process from considering the result, aligning it with yourself uh, and potentially also your business mission, vision and values. Then you've planned it and now you're at the stage of implementing these particular changes that you're organizing. So the implementation phase is incredibly important and also making sure that you actually pivot to cater to um, the results that you're really wanting to achieve ultimately. Then the final stage is develop. So even though you may have moved through each of these stages that I've just gone through, you're always open and to developing uh, further nuances to the particular result which you want in the end. This development phase um, can move into even additional projects that you may undertake. And this rapid results method, um, which you can probably guess from the name, it's meant to be done in fast succession. So the results, the alignment, the planning, the implementation, and then the development all happen over a fairly short time frame. So when working with my clients, as I mentioned before, I've received some incredible um, results for them by teaching them this particular method. It can be applied to so many situations. And in fact, for people who may have a bit of trepidation or um, some doubt about starting a particular work-related task, 
how about you try applying this particular method of approaching project management and seeing if this can give you the confidence and the clarity to actually move through the different stages of the project and see how this also affects your end result. I look forward to hearing from all of you and most certainly any comments that you have on the rapid result method. If you do try it out in your workplace, please do let me know how it goes. If you've got any questions, let me know. And I look forward to speaking with you all very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.